Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of weather to discuss today. Major storms, midterm patterns, and long-term climate. Also have big news at Hawaii, but we're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours to be about as quiet as the last. Filament traversing north of center disk with a large southern coronal hole to the south of it. No sunspots means no solar flares, and the solar wind at Earth is quiet as well, easing further and bringing geomagnetic calm. We do expect a solar wind intensification within about 36 hours due to this coronal hole. The stream is already on its way. The coronal hole contains the IMF to which Earth is magnetically connected, and it is driving that earthquake watch at the moment. Big ones struck Iran very shallow yesterday. Shallow ones there feel 0.5 to 0.9 magnitude higher due to the energy transfer in local geology. However, the most interesting event yesterday hit Hawaii. All the volcano eruptions here on one list, and with the largest on top, indeed, five or six hours ago, the first 5.5 seismic waves were produced by the volcanic activity. It is the largest of the eruptions yet. Let's go to the satellites and begin a shift from day cloud phase views to the lightning detections. Once again, the strongest signatures came out of the southeast. Now let's get a better look at northern Florida because an awesome sight could be seen at the southern edge of the main cell blasting southward from Jacksonville. At very low altitude, you can see the wave disturbance from the cell development in the center rippling out ahead through the lower regions and fueling the storms as they track southward. Up next, we're talking hail. This is Bosnia, where the damage was significant as larger agglomerations of ice began pelting the capital. Up next, we're going to shift to Asia, where just the slightest aberration in the normal monsoon patterns has a tendency to do this. We're in Vietnam here, thousands displaced, dozens dead, and that number is expected to rise. Up next, an interesting article from the Weather Channel describing an odd jet pattern. It is not supposed to be this dipping this time of year, but flat and strong. The problem is that everyone who reads solar forcing climate papers know that the top confirmed solar forcing effects of sunspot minimum are NAO negative forcing phase and upper jet instabilities. Sometimes that's the polar vortex, this time it's the jet stream, and it's exactly what we expect at this stage of the sunspot cycle. Lastly folks, a test of the upper atmosphere to see how well the officially used climate models can describe global changes. Turns out that they all overestimate the warming compared to observations and that the major hypothesized mechanism of action in those models must be rejected. Remember folks, website members drawing for conference tickets and space weather news gear is going to be on August 1st. Enter the drawing on the Deeper Look page where yesterday I also posted another morning news link list, this one for the last 14 months. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.